Hello everybody, it's me Jones RMJ here. In the past, I've uploaded two videos on how to play Wii games online after Nintendo shut down the service. However, there was one caveat. You had to use an SD card and soft mod your Wii with the homebrew channel. Well now, what if I told you that you don't need either of these things to play Wii games online again? That's right, today I'll be showing you how to play Wii games online without an SD card and homebrew channel. Let's get started. So first, you're going to want to turn on your Wii and go to the Wii menu at the bottom left of the screen. You'll then want to go to Wii settings, scroll to the second page, and go to your internet settings. Then select connection settings, select your network, and select change settings. Then scroll to the page that says auto obtain DNS, select no, and click on advanced settings. You're now going to have to enter in two values. For the primary DNS, you're going to type in 95.217.77.181. Click OK, and then for the secondary DNS, you're going to type in 8.8.8.8. .8 then click on Confirm and click on Save. Your connection will then be tested and you can click on No for performing a system update since we won't throw in any more Wii software updates anyway. Alright, so now go ahead and put in a Wii game disc that supports online play. I'll use Mario Kart Wii for this example. Open up the game, and try to play online, and as you can see, it works. Now if this is your first time trying to play Wii games online, you might get an error code and that usually is just because the Wii MMFI servers that are used to bring back online functionality for Wii games require new users to wait a week before they are allowed to use the service. If you find that you are getting an error code after a week, then you likely have another error, and you can get details on it by going to wiimmfi.de slash error and type in your error code. As long as you follow the steps in this video correctly though, you should be good to go. You'll just have to wait a week if this is your first time using the Wii MMFI service. And there you go, that is how you can play Wii games online again without the need of an SD card or soft mining your Wii with the homebrew channel. If you are having any problems and need help, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my future content. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.